Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, let's have a look at the silver mining stocks in this video. And that's what I wanna be focusing on first. I'm just gonna be focusing on the SIL and the SILJ. What's going on with these markets through here? Silver and silver and gold. Oh, sorry, the SIL, the silver and the silver junior stocks. So let's firstly have a look at SIL. We're gonna look at this weekly chart first and we'll see what's going on. Let me see if I can see anything that's going on in the last sort of couple of years. I can notice that we actually had a major support down through here and you can see how that this major support level through here around that 22 level. We had the support down here. We had the support through here. You can see we actually flushed down recently. We came back up and now we actually bounced off a level and we've been, we've been breaking up. So not really too much to talk about there. Um, I can see that there was sort of the major resistance level around that sort of $34 level there. Possibly a bit lower. Possibly it's possibly the, the major resistance is possibly around, it's between, it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole area through here. It's really not just one level, is it? If we have a look through there, all right, we're just, I'm just bringing this up. You can see how this is really like a whole area because we have this whole levels of support down through 32 to 34 is that whole area of resistance. Uh, we definitely did have a trend line coming down through to here, as you can see, and we actually, um, so nice sort of resistance points all the way down and we bounced off that level and pop back up. So that's what the weekly chart is telling us, which to me, the weekly chart is saying that we're on our way back up to a 30, we're on our way back up to the 32 to 34 level. Um, we, we do have a little bit of short-term resistance where we are right now, but I think we're likely to continue up based on what I'm seeing on this weekly chart. Let's go have a look at that weekly chart, uh, the daily chart now. Let's see what's actually going on. So right now, let's have a bring up the last sort of three months worth of data. Let's have a look here. So what I'm seeing through here is, is this, okay? So I'm seeing that we had this lower high. We broke down. We came up, we made this we made this lower high followed by a higher low. And now we're getting a very nice up bar. So we definitely have sort of this in play right now. And if I bring up my, this trend line here is more like this level through here, as you can see, right? So on a short term base, you can see how this whole level was resistant and now it became support and now we're breaking up. We did have a very nice volume spike on Friday and an up bar bouncing off this level through here. So. That tells me we're probably likely to get a bit of follow through moving into the, at least the start of the week. And we're probably likely to see a bit of follow through up to around that sort of 30 to 32 level. Uh, if I bring up the, the, the sort of the the 12 month view, um, yeah, I can, let's have a look here. Yeah, so I can see that that's what's going on now. So on a short term basis, guys, on that short term view, I definitely see this market rising up. Uh, we definitely have that sort of, there's a strong area of resistance around that 30 level there. And then if I just take this off the screen, let me just take this off. Can I take that off? Let me just, let me delete that. And then you can see there's a bit of a support and resistance going on around there. But if we have a look, there's actually also some through there as well too. If I bring up that weekly chart, let's look at that weekly chart, but over just the last sort of couple of, couple of years. So it was sort of the last year or so. I definitely see that there's a lot of support through level through here. So on a short term basis, guys, I definitely see we're likely to get up to at least that 30 level there. And we're probably likely to break that and then continue up as well too um, from that there. But at least on a short term basis, guys, we're getting the very we're getting a very nice high low off this. You can see how it was resistance all through here. Then we came down, found support, and we're actually breaking back up now. So the SIL with this volume is probably likely to follow through at least at least for the next few days. The SILJ is it's not as strong, right? Because look at this here. We're still getting, we still have this high. And this is all about listening to the markets, right? High, lower high. And then we have this lower high, but we have this higher low. So there's no one, there's no one really truly in control. We have this up bar with this volume. So that's tell us we're probably likely to follow through. But we would definitely need to see this level here broken. As you can see, that sort of $8 level there broken. Because that, that was the recent support, support and the resistance. And we now we hit this resistance level through here. And we also have sort of this trend line coming up through here. So it's like, like a bit of a, 
bit of a bit of a sort of triangle pattern happening through there. Um, if I bring up my trend lines coming down from there to there, yeah, I don't need that. So let me just take this off the. Let me just t delete these off the screens because I don't need them. Um, I just want to focus on this here. So that's what we're seeing there right now. So if we do get a nice break above this level through here, guys, then if we get if we get a follow through here, then we're probably next stop is probably on its way up to around that ten dollar mark. I would say. Um, if I bring that 650, 750, so it looks like it looks like it's a dollar fifty range, right? And what I mean by that is that if you the, this last support level here was what 650, 750, the next resistance was eight, so that's a dollar fifty. If you actually if you actually take if, yeah, this is if you take a um, dollar fifty, so 650 to 750 is one dollar to eight dollars, that's a dollar fifty up. If you project that down, a dollar fifty down would be five dollars notice how we actually found support there so it looks like that this here right now is is the support and resistance level is probably around that sort of dollar fifty level so a dollar fifty up dollar fifty up and isn't that interesting that um eight dollars to nine fifty which is roughly around this resistance level around about here is the next resistance level so you can see how that they're the main resistance and then probably from nine fifty up to around that ten eleven mark probably even a bit higher but right now um, the SILJ is actually giving us about a dollar fifty ranges between the support levels, as you can see. So major resistance, major support, dollar fifty. We actually project that down. We can see the major low. We actually project that up. We can see the major high. So a dollar fifty increments is where the support and resistance levels are. Meaning we break here on a short term basis. We're on our way up to sort of nine uh, nine dollars fifty here. And I actually do see that with that volume here as well and a big up bar. Uh, to me, it looks like we're probably likely to break and see see a nice follow through. Hey traders, I'm running a flash sale. It's a seven dollar flash sale to my brand new Go to the Markets by the Bullish trading course. If you go to JohnsFlashSale.com, you can get access to the uh, seven dollar uh, massive sale that I'm doing right now for a short time. So go to JohnsFlashSale.com, and I'll see you over there.